New Mexico is still fighting a teacher shortage and our legislature is working to combat it. Angel Saucedo spoke to teachers in our state about how their job has changed since COVID-19. It's a natural fit for me, and I have, I just love what I do. Christine Moore is a high school teacher, and she's been doing it for more than a decade. I learn every day, and I tell that to my students as well. I said, no matter how much you learn from me, I learn just as much from you. Christine, like many teachers, has seen her job change dramatically because of COVID-19. Trying to figure out how do we re-engage our kids? How do we get these students back in school? That's a struggle for all of us right now. It's also brought along a teacher shortage. Just last year, our state had more than 1,000 open teacher positions. That's 1,000 classrooms without a teacher. When I started teaching, which was more than 20 years ago, there were a lot of teachers and very few jobs. Ellen Bernstein is an educator herself and the president of the Albuquerque Teachers Federation. Now there are very few teachers and a lot of jobs. This year, there are two bills in our legislature aimed at putting a dent in the shortage. One of them is Senate Bill 28, which would provide a tax deduction for all public school teachers who buy school supplies with their own money. The other is House Bill 127, which would double the minimum salary for educational assistance in our state from $12,000 to $25,000 a year. Bernstein and Moore believe passionate teachers are irreplaceable. We have students that face so many challenges every day. Uh, it's social, it's economic. They get into that classroom and find that one teacher they connect with. It makes all the difference in the world and you become a mentor and providing resources for educators to succeed in New Mexico should be a priority. As long as our workplace cultures are positive and our jobs are doable and we have some kind of a balance, people will stay in teaching. Last year, our state's legislature secured a $10,000 increase towards minimum teacher salaries. Bernstein says changes like those are exactly what's going to keep teachers in the industry and also attract those who may have left during the pandemic. In Albuquerque, Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. Senate Bill 28 is in the Senate Tax, Business and Transportation Committee. House Bill 128 is in the House Education Committee.